Rich, my my scoops are not scientifically measured. They're not. No, they're no. not exactly one one uh, tablespoon. Table no, they're not. They're, they're, these are coffee scoops. That way, you, you know, you you got it's a trial and error thing. Okay. <laughs> I guess coffee drinkers don't mind that, I guess. You just, yeah, you just got to try it, you know, I mean. Well, it did come on and off the lathe a number of times to get that thing to be exactly one tablespoon. Yeah, I will see, tell I, you that. I, I, I don't have that much paper. So. You mean you can't want to take the piece off and put a tablespoon in it? Pardon? You kept on taking it off and measuring it. Yep, measuring it. it. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Use sand. Exactly. You did. It helps uh, when you make these, these pendles like this if the ball is round. Okay, because it makes it look better after you get the hole cut in. This is this is what I brought really what I brought the painter state for. Just to tape this up. So I put the jaws on it so it didn't mark it so bad. Wanna I uh, saw on the internet somebody making these, and he actually made a set of jaws for his truck. That like UHMW? Huh? That like UHMW? I don't know. i got to find hard, out. Hard it's, plastic? It's a white plastic, hard plastic. UHMW. And he still puts, uh, and that, and that guy puts a hose clamp around it because the stuff's flexing enough, it'll yeah. still come out. I've also seen one, done, I saw one set up in a magazine or so where they were making uh, extension jaws on 3D printers. Uh huh. Is that right? Yeah. For glide. Also, Mike Keith on his website, he has a video. On YouTube on how to make a jig to, to do it. Uh huh. And I, I made his jig and turned it number. Yeah, you don't you don't have to. Well, this is as you'll see when I pass it around. This mars the wood, even even on, where you got the tape. Sometimes it will. So because that steel just harder, harder. Huh? It bites in. Yep. <coughs> I took one uh, day or so ago and, and actually used a small Forstner bit on its shirt for some of it, and that worked really well. Uh, That way you don't, it's, uh, you got some of the work done. Rick's got a drill chuck for you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, that, that makes it, yeah. yeah. I'll let we'll, you do it. Pull the pull. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get it, Rick. You got a drill bit? <laughs> no, I didn't bring a bit.
not trying to judge you all, but that's the ugliest bowl I've ever seen. This this is this is art. This is <laughs> See this is color. This is the color adds to it, see. See, you, you made a jig to do this, Roger. Yep. Yep. It's it's. The jaw. How do you make the jaws? It's two pieces of wood. Uh huh. There's four bolts that go through it. Uh huh. So it clamps it together. Uh huh. Worked great. Pass this around, you can see where the jaws bit into it, and you can play with the however long you want to take to finish that inside and stuff. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> 